Hey everybody, FunchNX here. Welcome back to Stoneblock 3. Uh, I haven't done a lot of decorating in this room, but uh, it's still just going on fire It's amazing. I did come back and find that the entire basement area was filled with lava. And I didn't know, but these um, volcanic source links um, turn stone near them into lava. So I had to go and, and remove all the lava and replace it with like the purple concrete just so that we don't have a ton of lava <laughs> around anymore. But I think it's all clean now, so that's good. Uh, let's check how much we have. We are sitting on 1.3K, 1 1,300 of these. So we are very close to maxing out. Should do so in the next couple hours. Um, these ones are still chugging along slowly, but we're getting there. Um, I can always put, you know, a... Uh, a ring, a pedestal on there when I need them. Okay, so today I've got a few rooms. I've got two rooms here. This is going to be our pig iron room. Uh, I've got a lot of crap that I need to put together into a room here and make a bunch of pig iron. And if we get time, hopefully we can come over here and make the balloons. Look at this. I made a balloon, a hot air balloon in this room. I've got some sky block there, so it looks like it's open above the world. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and it's even floating. Look at that. So I thought that was a cool decoration. We're going to Build, build some balloons in the balloon room. Pretty fancy here. A lot of stuff there ready to go. I figured that might save us some time so we can get through this pack a little quicker is by me just crafting stuff. Because you guys don't want to see crafting. You want to see like the building and the actual, you know, making stuff, not crafting at all. So let's get going. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to make a giant smeltery. Um, I did a test and I found out that induction smelter running with full upgrades. Um is going to need seven seared casting tables pouring out with a pedestal and a ring to keep up. So we, and then it also is gonna need, I think a hundred blocks of flesh being smelted at a time. <laughs> so we're gonna go one, two, three times seven here. Actually, this might be nine. Yeah, three times nine is 27. And then we'll go four blocks high. So that'll be over a hundred. Um, I should probably use a wand to build this a little bit faster. So let me get this built here. And then we'll just wand to the top. If I can get a wand. Do I have a wand in here? There we go. I could use an ultimate wand, but... Oh, now I'm stuck inside. Shoot, that's okay. Okay, so um, let's put actually all of the um, drains here. So where's the middle of this room? Okay, so that'll be seven drains. Then we're gonna need seven casting tables to make the blood. All right. And the we could use faucets here, but they're not fast enough. I don't want to um, have to use faucets. So instead, we're going to use fluid pipes. They don't look as great, but they work. Let me get my crescent hammer. And we'll just separate all of these. Um, these aren't connecting right now because this is not a valid um, smeltery setup. We need a controller, obviously. Um, oops, that was fail. So, can I put one of these there? There we go. So those will connect once we have a valid smeltery. All right, I'm gonna put the uh, the lava machine and let's put that in the back here. Oops, went too far, not far enough here. Um, can we just get like a hammer so I can do this a little faster here? Not the giant hammer, that'll be too much. Where's, uh, why is my feral flame torch not working here? There it goes. <laughs> just took a second. Okay, so right in here, let's put our, uh, controller. Give me that back. Thank you. And the controller goes here. Now we need to import zombie flesh. So we need a EMC link to get our zombie flesh here. Let me just grab everything. All right. So this is just a personal. Yeah, no, it's refined. I don't need a refined. Let's just get a personal here. 
So I'll need to pull out one item. All right, and you can get flesh. And if you didn't notice, I covered this in the last episode. Once uh, your system knows an item, you can pull it out of JEI. So I can just drag flesh in there. Okay, um, so that's gonna be that. Let's get a item pipe. And wrench that baby. So that should start putting flesh in there, cool. And I want this on super speed, so we'll use an ultimate. There we go. Um, so yeah, that should be a hundred and something rotten flesh in there. Now the only other thing we need to do is put some lava in here. So I've got three tanks full right now. All right, and then we will get a and uh, magma crucible. Okay, and this, um, there's a number of recipes we can use, um, but if we look at lava with the magma crucible here, there we go. Um, so we can use obsidian, cobblestone, netherrack, stone, and magma. Um, I think magma gives the most the fastest. I'm not sure on that. Because all these, I think this is 40,000, that says 200,000. So this is the least energy to get a thing. So I'm going to use magma blocks. Um, so again, I need another personal EMC link. Come on, too many characters. And this one can actually just be right next to it because it can auto input. So we'll go from the left side as an input and auto input, okay. And then we just go and get magma, which I've taught my system, I believe, yes, okay. So that will start making uh, lava. And we'll put fluid pipes here. And like that, and like that, okay. Uh, this one has got all the augments already. So we've got a resonant and then three flux linkage amplifiers. Uh, so that should be making lava super fast once it has enough energy. Um, I'm not sure an ender gate hardened will be enough. Maybe it will. Let's try it. Oh yeah, this is not having any problem with power. Yeah, 5,000. Yeah, 5,000 RF attack. It's not going to use 5,000. So, okay, so that's making our lava and that should fill up all our tanks. So this should be making blood right now. Yeah, it's already making blood. Cool. And now I just need to set all these guys up. And our coagulated blood should be good. Uh, let's go ahead and ultimate pipe these as well though. And there we go. Okay, uh, we now need to take them out and let's look at our recipe that we're gonna use uh, for the blood. Um, So this is coagulated blood, yes. Oops, did not stop it, there we go. So this will go in an induction furnace. There it is, induction smelter, sorry. And it's gonna be mixed with iron and clay and it's gonna make pig iron. Um, so we've got this one, the refined, that'll put two items out. Um, let's go ahead and let's just put something well, I've got to I've got to pull out stuff, right? All right, and these are items, item pipes. Okay. Pull them out super quick. Nice. All right. So now I need an induction smelter somewhere. I need the refined EMC link, and then I need somewhere to store the output. So I think I can just go three in a row. So that will go there. This will go here. That will go there. And I should have an ender drawer. There. Okay. So this is already getting the blood in it. Um, and then we're going to go from the left side, 
go ahead and input everything automatically. Uh, and then on the right side, we will export everything. Okay, so all that's left then is to come in here and get some iron and some clay. Now the induction furnace is smart enough to know this recipe and know what, which slot things go in. And so now it's already making it. There we go. Um, this one has a resonant and three upgrades as well. And there's no like extra output that we have to worry about. We just need to get a gate on top of this thing. Where did I just put that? Oh, I put it in there. That's weird. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's put that right in there. Okay, there she goes. So we are making pig iron pretty quick. Um, let's just fill this in with some stone just for now. I have two billion of it because <laughs> it's in my uh, EMC link here. And I will decorate this later, but that is pig iron done. Uh, well, not quite. Um, let's put... Oh, I was going to... Here, let's move this. Since it's so tiny, it doesn't really affect the look of the front of this. But I wanted to put a pedestal right there and a watch. Go. Uh, are these not pulling out? Maybe it's because this thing is maxed? Oh, okay. <laughs> so maybe we don't need seven. I thought I tested this and it was seven. All right, it's just five. Okay, cool. Well, if it ever has a problem, then... Oh, okay. I think I know what happened with the test. In my test world, this was on the front and also being accelerated. Um, can I put that in range of this thing? I could. It's going to have to be like up here and visible. Uh, we can do that. All right, so let me switch it up just real quick. Whoa, that's a lot of lava. <laughs> Flush. Oh, I guess it's not that much. All right, so that goes in there. Let's put this maybe here. All right, and then EMC link again. Flush. That's a fluid pipe. Item pipe. Extract. Super fast. All right, so now this should be cooking lava much faster. Uh, cooking it much faster. We gotta see if our lava now keeps up with it. Can I please? Oh, I know what happened. <laughs> Because the smeltery broke, this thing forgot that it's I can export again. So that's why all these things got thrown on the ground. I love the, the noise. <laughs> okay. So these maxed out again. Yeah, and again, they're just not using all of them. So I could just get rid of two of them, I guess. Can I get in here? How's our lava doing? Yeah, this thing uses so few lava. Let's just make sure it's staying up. Yep, it's 31 every time it can. Okay, so that does need to be tick, tick accelerated just the front here. And that, yeah, see how much... Oh, and we've actually got... It's too big of a smeltery too. So we probably don't even need like the top layer. So let's try and let's see how it does if I just take these out here. Still hit maxing out? Yep, cool. So take that one out. Oh, I broke it again. Dang it. I should have used uh, uh, the replace something mod so I could just switch these out, but that's okay. All right, we're already at 5,200 of these, <laughs> holy crap. All right, and that looks like it's perfect. It's just barely climbing, you know, like it's got like one extra every once in a while, so 
should be good to go. So that is a very clean build. Not much extra showing, so let's just fill in a little bit here. And I will come back and uh, decorate the walls and the floor or something, but I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, uh, one thing we might want to do is muffle the sound, but you don't really hear it if you're out here. Okay, don't need you or you. I'm not sure what I'll do with the signs, but we need to now come down here and get another, what are these things called? Ender drawers. I don't think this one is linked to anybody yet. If it is linked to someone, you can always just craft it with its, oh no, that's not, that's the, uh, the entangled blocks you can craft in an empty window and they'll just un unentangle themselves. Okay, so do I remember all the buttons I need to hit on this thing? Um, that tool and that tool. Shift punch. And punch. What? Okay, let's try this again. Nope. <laughs> Why is it so hard to do this? Why isn't I getting this giant thing like stop? Please stop. I don't know. I don't know what it's doing. Okay, stored frequency in the tool. Yay, thank you. Now, paste frequency. Oh my gosh. This is so ridiculous. Sneak right, okay. I think it's right click. I've been punching, I don't remember. There we go, my goodness. And we can lock this baby, there we go. We'll set it to output. And put an ultimate in there. Do I have an ultimate in here? Yes, I do. Okay, so yeah, it'll um, actually like eat these faster than they can be created, but so it'll always look like there's zero in there. There she goes, we got pigs and we've got our first two singularities already, nice. Um, this one is coming in, let's try and time it here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. So it's almost, it's six or seven seconds. This one's every six. This one's gonna be every six or seven, maybe eight to make one of those. So I'm happy about that. Let's check pig iron off the list. All right, balloons are next. Uh, we can, oops, let me throw my backpack tools back in here before they get lost. Okay, and the rest will go in here. Okay, done. Let's look at this ma the room then. So we're looking at balloons, and let's just refresh our memory on the crafting of these. Uh, so uh, main part of it is just crafting. So we can need uh, a crafter from build. Uh, what mod is this from? RF tools. Where's the builder? Builder, builder. This one, yeah. RF tools, yeah. So we got a crafter tier two. Tier two will hold four recipes, uh, and I think that's. I think we only need three. So that should be fine. I don't know if the tier three goes faster or not. We can test that out, but. Um, so again, yeah, so we're making this balloon. We need crafting recipe. Torch is easy, it's EMC. Uh, the wood slab is made from, no, I don't want that wood slab. I want just the normal wood slab. <laughs> just this guy, cool. So that's made from treated wood planks. And we said we were gonna make those, even though it doesn't show here that you can make it, any recipe that needs a liquid can be uh, crafted in a sequential fabricator. So we'll be doing that recipe there. Uh, the oak planks will be EMC, so we'll pull them out of an EMC link. And the creosote oil, we're gonna grab from a pyrolyzer where we'll be pulling coal. But then we're gonna need to pull out coke and tar. Uh, so let's get this part working first. 
Um, so we're going to need EMC link to bring in uh, coal. Then we're going to need a couple drawers to put the outputs. We're going to have um, two outputs plus a tank, right? Um, and then we're, uh, so what tank am I going to use? There's the one that's giant, the jumbo. Yeah, let's make the jumbo tank. So we need a few of these. Let me combine those into a jumbo. Okay, so that'll be the jumbo tank holding all of our uh, stuff. Uh, and then, so all that's never really enough is left is our pyrolyzer. And we're good there. Uh, get a gate for it. Let's get an upgrade. I think we're good. Let's get two void upgrades. We're gonna need some fluid pipes. Let's get them all item pipes and those. Okay, I think that's all we need for now. Um, so let's put that, let's open up a little bit right here. And we'll put the pyrolyzer right there. And then let's get a few things here. So um, let's put the jumbo tank there. Okay. And coming out of here. We'll do, I want to keep it clean, right? So we'll do fluid here. And that needs to have something on the bottom as an output. Okay. And then we'll do item pipe here. Like that. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um, so that means the back also needs to output, which it is doing now. Okay. I need to get down here. Okay, so that thing is now ready. Uh, we need to pull in items uh, with our EMC link. We can just do that on the top. Okay, and this will say input from the top and automatic exports, all that kind of stuff. Put the gate on the front. Uh, that is now gonna get power, cool. Um, I'm going to have to go check my power system, make sure I'm producing enough power because it seems to be coming in a little bit slower now, but I don't know. Um, oh, yeah, when we want to upgrade this guy. Cool. Now we just need to tell this. Um, so the recipes for creosote. Um, again, through the pyrolyzer is we can either do coal or we can do wood. Wood gives us less, but has only one output. I don't really care. Let's just go for the big one. So we're going to pick coal out of this thing. There it goes. All right. So that should be working now. There it goes. Okay. And that'll immediately get pushed in there. And then we've got the output. So let's get, what do we want to frame this in? Probably in like frame drawers or uh, no, the student treated. That'll work great. So if I put treated here, hopefully this doesn't crash my game. Good, okay. So let's do two of those. All right, we'll put one there. That's getting that. And then we've got our tar hopefully coming out in here. Yes, cool. Uh, well, I don't care about either of those, so we're just gonna put voids on them. Nice, and did we uh, did we put ultimates in there? Nope, I have to get down lower. Okay, so that is producing our creosote. It's not super fast, but we can put a pedestal over here and get it to go quicker. All right, so how much, does this thing not have an interface? It just tells us we have 10 buckets, okay. Alrighty, um, so second step was to craft this uh, with oak. So let's do that over here. Um, so I'm going to just dig under the grass. I could do a uh, an entangled and entangle that uh, tank, but I think I'm just gonna pipe it under the grass. I don't know 
know how far over it goes. Oh, so close. Did I get any more stone here? Come on, stone please. There we go. Just to fill in a few holes. Okay, um, fluid pipe output there. All right, and that's gonna come down here. Where'd you go that far? Okay, <laughs> couldn't see it. I was like, I thought it went further than that. Okay, um, and then just to match, I think we went one black back with our thing. So let's go right here. And that machine still out here is our sequential fabricator. And that one we will also want to upgrade. And that's gonna go right there. Okay, so augments go. Let's put it this way just so it looks nice. Uh, need a gate on there. Okay, and then we need input from the bottom. Doesn't, I guess auto input doesn't matter. Uh, like that, okay. Uh, and then on top, just like we did that one, yep, EMC link right there. I don't have one. Did I grab one? Yes. And that is going to provide oak planks. And we change this to input. Okay, now we just need to build our recipe. This thing does not allow, uh, allow dragging, so you're going to need to come in here, get some planks. And get some creosote. I don't have any, so if I could just get a bucket, come right over here and grab one. There we go. So we say bucket of creosote and eight oak planks makes treated wood, and we lock it in. All right, so it instantly filled. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That was hilarious. <laughs> it like all the crew, so instantly went in, all the planks instantly went in, and now we have a ton of treated wood. Okay. Um, and I guess we can do, how did we over to here? We kind of did, oh yeah, this would have needed to go behind it. Okay, let's move that back so I can pull out the bottom. Give me back my pipes. Nope, nope. Okay. Why is it grabbing the gate all the time? There we go. Um, so the back is now the input. And you on the bottom are the output. Okay, auto output, perfect. Uh, let's get another one of these. Uh, oh, I already have them. I just need to craft them with some treated. Okay. And that's gonna go right there. And then an item pipe coming out of here. Go fast. Oh, holy crap! That went so fast. Well, we, okay, we ran out of creosote. Okay, so I don't think we need to speed up this guy, right? He is producing so quick. As long as we have the creosote, he is gonna be fine. I didn't say fill in with the cobble, that's okay. All right, again, I will make that look pretty, but that is that is pretty clean, right? On its own of what you can see. And then this thing will be just as clean. If I get it like this. Yeah, nice. Oh, where'd my dirt go? Okay, so you need a pedestal for sure. And how are we doing on watches? We got three left. Um, oh, I ran out of sides for this, so I can't put you on top here. 
All right, well, we'll put it off to the side. Won't look as pretty, but. All right, so now that is just going crazy. And you. Yeah, it's it's using all the creosote as soon as it comes in. So we don't have to worry about speeding that one up. I even put this in back in here now. Yeah, cool. All right, so we have now have the treated wood and we have uh, that part done. All right, the last piece of this is we're gonna need to make some hemp. Uh, well, not this is the second last to get, piece to go, I guess, because we need to make the tough fabric, which takes the industrial hemp fiber. We have three options this. We could make a huge botany pot army, right? And just have a ton of those. We could make a few guarded cloches. Um, and speed those up. I want to try the phytogenic. We're going to see if it works, <laughs> right? Um, it Does this take sunlight? I don't know what this sunshine. I think this is just a progress bar, but we'll see. Um, but you can see that it accepts either bone malt, uh, phytogrow, or compost. Bone meal has EMC, so we can do that. I don't know if it uses up the seeds. I haven't, I haven't used this thing. So um, let's come back here, but we're going to do the almost the same thing we did before. No, oh, why didn't I grab the all the stuff for it? I'm just gonna grab everything. Um, yeah, so this is going to go. Where are you, Fida Grow? There you go. Nope, that's a controller. Ended up not needing that. Fida Grow. Okay, gate for power on the front. EMC link up here. We're gonna need the better one because we gotta pull out possibly two things. Oops, wrong place. So I'm gonna get the refined. We can switch this back down if we don't need it, but um, I'll get some hemp seeds. Oh, I don't have those in my system, huh? Okay. Um, let's, uh, oh, these don't, oh yeah. Oh, I can't pull those out of here. Okay, we might have to just route them back in from the output. We'll put them in here for now. Um, okay, and then we want the output to come here in another chest, which I think I lost in here. Uh, okay, so that will go there. And we'll pull that out of this way. Why is that not? Oh, this is a fluid. Oops, not a fluid. Okay, we'll say you output on the bottom. Okay. And yeah, so we might have to like somehow put the seeds back in. We'll see. But go there and do this. Okay. So this one is going to be bone meal. And you should be able to input from the top auto. Okay, we got our bone meal. Now we just need water. So let's open up a little more space here in the back. And I will get, uh, yeah, so last time I talked about the um, volcanic amulet not working. I guess it just doesn't work that way. I assumed it would work just like the water one, right? I don't know, I'm silly. Um, but if we take a basic fluid tank and this Evertide, I'm gonna put that right there and put the Evertide amulet in there. Um, I think it'll stay there. Why isn't it filling it up? There's something really weird with this, but I need to make this tank bigger. We need to get in the mechanism. All right, so I'll do an input from the back for water. Do I need to like enable this thing? Huh, okay, that one filled it up. Why are you not taking water? Oh, cause I haven't done that. And that. Okay, so now if, why is it taking it out? I don't want you to take it out. Fill, fill mode. 
How about empty mode? There we go. That's the trick. Okay, it needs to be put on empty mode and that will try and like empty water out of the amulet. And now it is filling that up. So that's infinite water. This will never uh, need water again. Okay, this thing needs to be upgraded. Okay, and again, yes, it did eat the seeds. So we need to grab those out and put them back in. Uh, the best way to do that is gonna be probably Ender IO, laser IO, I mean. Ender IO would work great too, but <laughs> um, but I don't have another face, so in, uh, without making this ugly. Um, so instead, we're gonna dig out. I notice I just, yeah, I've got night vision was disabled. Um, okay, let's dig down one more floor, please, or maybe two. Okay, and then we are going to put an entangled block. Uh, here, and then grab an entangler in here. There it is. So you'll shift click on the isolator and put it right there. Okay, and then let's get a laser node. And we're going to need some laser upgrades, which I don't know if I can make. Nope, I'm out of these. I'll have to go cook some more of these to upgrade this. Probably, maybe it won't need it. Um, but yeah, so now I can go laser here. And on the down, oops, where's my cards? Copy, paste, there's card holder. On the down, oh, I need another item card too. Okay, we gotta make some chips. Back to the old base. Da -da. So I need some of these. Is these EMC able? Oh, they are. Are the finished ones? Oh, these ones are. Do I have any of those? Logic chips? Oh, I didn't put them in there. Okay, well, fine. So let's just make a few because we don't need to make a ton, right? <laughs> my cute bunny is still hiding out. Hello, bunny. There's a uh, top hat and his uh, pipe. Okay, so those should just be added to the system. Cool. And then I will just, just grab a stack of them. Oops, I just lost them. Okay, so they're there if I need any more. And now I could just go ahead and say I need some item cards. These are, these are EMCable. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, that changes things. Redstone card, energy card. I'm gonna need to make a fluid card. And then are these, they are too, cool. Oops, grab you and let's grab one of these. There we go, cool. So I can probably like just grab, <clears throat> oh yeah, that's okay, that's fine. Let's get a bunch of item cards just down the floor. And a bunch of these. You can't pull out fast in the shape. I guess you could just shift click, but um, what's this one called? Overclocker. Yeah, we'll just get a whole stack rather than Try and get silly with it. All right, and then shift right click to grab all cards and stick them in there. Okay, that'll be enough for now. Why can't I see new base? Because it's over here. There it is. All righty. So down here with our entangler, remember we're working on the down. We need two item cards, not three. This one will be extract, uh, and I need a basic filter. I might not, actually. Well, I only wanna get the hemp seeds. Okay, so let's right click on that guy, basic filter, and put hemp in there. 
Okay, so that should extract the hemp seeds and then it should just insert them back in, right? <laughs> um, so we're gonna have to do a sneaky insert from maybe the back. So we say from, oh, I don't know which direction that's west. Will that work? Huh. I wonder if we need to put it somewhere first. But this is an output, right? Bottom is an output. Um, so it should be able to pull those out. Have I, have I done something wrong? Let me just look here real quick. So this is extract default. So just pull at the bottom only in industrial hemp seeds. Okay, that should be fine. Maybe just won't, I'm trying to use it in a way it won't be, because it's insert now on the west side. Um, we know that the top is also an insert, so on the up. Oh, okay. I think I know what it is. It's because this block is acting like that block. So I'm actually need to pull out of the bottom. <laughs> this is this is uh, trippy. Okay, so we're not pulling out of the chop, we're pulling out of the down. There it goes, it just did it. Ha <laughs> ha nice. So it's pulling out of the down and putting in the up. Now we are gonna have a problem with this filling up, I have a feeling, but let's just see. Are we getting hump? Yeah, we are. Not a lot, not very fast. Or is this guy upgraded? Wow, he does not run very quick. How many hemp do we get? Two? Yeah, this is so slow. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens if we uh, bring in a little helper here. I should put that in a, an EMC link because so I can just pull it out, but that's okay. Um, watch, why don't you craft me like 10 more of these while you're at it. And this one will sit here. Now, how you do? oh, that much, much faster. Okay. So I want to see what happens once we get up to max seeds. It's probably going to start filling up this output here with seeds. Yes, okay. So can I have a priority uh, and then get a, hmm. Actually, I could care less what this one was made of. And we'll put void upgrade on that. Nope, not in there. That's not what I meant. Okay, that worked. All right, so if for some reason you can't insert, right? Here's priority zero. Then instead go out the north and do an export and make this, oh no, this is, this is an insert. On priority negative. Is that what I want? There we go. Yeah, so it's filling it up. If it's got any extra, perfect. It's going to throw it over here, and this thing will just void off as soon as it gets to 2K. Okay, I like that. We do our cool, beautiful work up top, and we put all the dirty stuff down here. Um, let me get a torch of some kind down here just in case and we can fill this bobby back in cool so now we're at 1500 nice water's keeping up bone meals keeping up our uh, our emc is still at 13 gig per second so we're good there uh, this thing filled up to 2k okay we might need to increase that but we should be crafting there 
Uh, okay, so final thing is going to be crafting. So I've got everything that I need, uh, which is going to be the hemp, the treated wood, and then um, some EMC stuff. So let's get a, uh, not a personal, I think the nine is going to be fine. So let's just get a refined and we'll put that on the, well, I want to, I want to make this thing be visible. So let's get that first. So if I pop this up here on the crafter, I put the crafter there and then put a ender drawer on top of it. I've got an ender drawer right here. Okay. And then all my balloons go in there. Well, that looked cool. Yes, I like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's get the recipes in here and then we'll deal with the inputs. So the first recipe is going to be the final balloon recipe. And that goes in there. Uh, apply. Why can't I do that? Oh, right there. Ugh. Okay, so that's balloons. Then let's do here, we will do the tough fabric recipe. Uh, not that one though. Um, can I just get a regular stick, please? Why isn't that working there? Weird. Not that kind of stick. <laughs> okay. That's saved. All right. Um, and then our third recipe here is going to be for the treated wood slabs. But I don't want the vertical planks ones again. There, that one. Yes, go. All right. And apply that there. So I think that's the only three recipes we need. Uh, this one here, the tough fabric, is going to be uh, internal, so everything will stay here, as well as this one. Cool. And then the balloons will be an external. Okay. So now we're going to need an EMC link somewhere. Can this auto input? Uh, forget, remember, redstone speed. Filter, uh, all items. Okay, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it can auto input. So let's go there. And this one, we're gonna need sticks for sure. And then we're gonna need, wait, is that it? So the hemp is coming from, we're growing, our stick is coming from that, oh, torches. Does this one allow it? All right, so sticks and torches coming out of there. Um, let me just grab some. Because I want to like do this recipe. So torches, we probably just need like two stacks of torches. Sticks, we'll need, let's go six stacks of those. I haven't used this in so long. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll try it. Okay, <laughs> and then we need our treated planks and our hemp. So we'll make a few stacks of these. Do the same over here. I think this was going to need the most. Um, actually, we're going to need leave room for our internal stuff too that gets crafted. Um, so let's go ahead and make some of those. So we'll make a tough fabric here, and then we'll make some treated wood slabs. Oops, that goes in there. Take out what? Maybe one more row of sticks. I don't know. I'll put this here. 
Okay, how do I lock this now? Remember the current items in the internal and exterior buffers. Okay, so that's remembered. So yeah, now I can take this all out, but I'll just leave it there. And if we give this thing power, oh, I'm out of gates. Oh no, can I make any kind of gates? Yeah, we'll make some blazing gates. I don't know, you probably don't need that, but uh, we are now crafting. Cool, so we made 52 balloons already. <laughs> That's great. Okay, uh, we need an item pipe going there, pulling out, and speedy. Okay, so that filled all those in. So now we're just missing our hemp and our other stuff. So if I go and put a, oh yeah, I do need a drawer controller. I knew I knew this for a reason. Um, let's put this right back there. I'm just gonna open it up just from the back. You'll never see it. And we'll get our configuration tool. And I'm gonna link that one to there and to there. Because I don't need any of those stuff, cool. And I can, again, um, where did I just put my item pipes? Did I use all my item pipes? I don't know where they went, but I got more in here. Do that, and again, you and... I must have placed them in here too. <laughs> what, did, what have I done with them? Did they go somewhere? Did I put them like in an inventory? Did I just like... I might have shift clicked them in there. I don't know. Anyway, um, I probably just threw them in here. I don't know. Yeah, they're in there. Whatever. Alrighty, so this should be making balloons. Awesome. All right, why is, oh, because we need to put it on fast mode. <laughs> okay, so do we just use all of our hemp? Pretty much. Oh, this is not pulling out hemp fast enough. Oh, it got seeds in here because we didn't lock it. Oh, that was what happened. Okay, can you redstone work on a high signal only, please, so I can pull out all of these. Put the, oh, and I've got to stop you as well. Uh, let me just turn this off for a sec. Okay. Hemp in there and lock you. Are all these other ones locked? Okay. All right, so that should be better. I can put all the hemp in there and turn this back on. Okay. This should never run out of seeds again. It was throwing them in the wrong place. All right, so you're getting up there again. Now you, oh, am I gonna be able to reach this? Barely, okay, cool. There. Okay, so the hemp is not coming in fast enough. Um, oh, and we now also need to say auto extract on the up. How do we do that? Oh no. How do I? Well, um, I guess we can just do it behind. <laughs> That's kind of a bummer. So let me put you there and I need to immediately disconnect that. Is that coming in there now? Balloons. What is going in there? Do balloons not show up? Well, that is dumb. <laughs> what? Why don't they show up? I did not like that. 
I thought I was going to be able to display my pretty balloons. Um, let's check other ways. What about just a normal drawer? No. <gasps> well, that sucks. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we're just going to see a count here and never see the actual amounts. Um, so this crafts plenty fast. We don't need to speed it up, but we are not making enough hemp. So we're going to need some more of these. Hmm. I mean, it's making it super fast, but we're just using it so fast. Yeah, because it takes three of these to make one balloon, and then it takes nine, or eight. So it's taking 24 per balloon. So we're getting a balloon every... Uh, every two seconds, it seems, like two every four. And if we go look at the balloon singularity, it takes 720 of these. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, this one's going to be really slow. Um, and I might need to rethink how I'm getting my hemp. Because this was just a lot harder. I think a, a cloche is going to be easier. Because a cloche won't use the seed up like this one will. So I can just void off the seeds that come out of here. I can have a whole wall of cloches. Okay. Guys, I'm going to call that an episode. I think we got... Well, let's, let's at least get the balloons in here. We want to do that, right? Start those going. So, again, we need... An ender. Let's see if we do the right thing this time, right? With the right clicks and everything. Oh man, I didn't put this in my system. Whatever, I'll craft more of those later. Okay, um, I should have grabbed it. Hey, go up there. Not too far, we'll go into the void. Um, so my linking tool, oh, this needs to be locked as well. Okay, linking tool, shift, left click, and then right click. Hey, I did it, okay. So we've got balloons, we can now extract them and extract them quickly. All right, there we go. Those uh, are being made. They're not being made fast. <laughs> I mean, if we're getting two, one of them every two seconds, it would be, what, 1,500 seconds. Um, let's see, let me get my calculator out here right now. So I've got to figure out how much I need to speed this thing up to get it at a decent speed. So, wait, it's... Oh, then that's pretty easy. It's just seven. It'd be seven minutes, right? Seven twenty divided by sixty. Twelve minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. Twelve minutes to get one of these things. <laughs> that's much different than every six seconds, right? Gonna take forever. We almost got one. <laughs> At least we're getting one. But yeah, we definitely need to switch out the way we were getting the uh, the hemp, and I will. Probably um, just make a bunch of cloches and line them up along this wall and we'll good, be good there. So come back next time, I'll show you that and we'll figure out what is next, which should be, oh, we didn't get our quest on here. Give me one of those. Can I just please have one? Um, so that's pig iron. There'll be uh, train tracks. So I want to probably put everything that involved with create and rotational force in the same room. So we're probably going to skip that one. Uh, so I think the next one, that's blood magic. That's going to wait. Uh, walls, Batania. 
Uh, we could probably do the wall singularity. That one's gonna have revolve, involve uh, create because we're gonna have to have um, grinders. Mob soul, we could just make a big mob farm. Oh, this is gonna be uh, latex farming basically. So we could do that one. Mechanism, uh, oh, we can do that one too. So maybe we'll look at uh, the processing tier two singularity and the nitro crystals next time. Yep, and then we can do the jelly babies and the uh, the mob souls at the same time because we had XP and mob souls from a mob farm. Yeah, and then and then we're basically where we forced ourselves to have to get into a few more mods. Oh, there's one. Cool. Yay, quests. Cool. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve done. We are more than halfway with our singularities. Awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next episode. Thank you. Bye.